this video isn't really going to apply if you're not editing in DaVinci Resolve, but I did want to share the problem and the mistake that I made in hopes that in the future, this could prevent you from making the same mistake. Today, I wanted to talk about an issue that I experienced a couple of days ago. Recently, there was a new update for DaVinci Resolve uh, to DaVinci Resolve 19. I'm not sure if it's quite out of the beta version yet, but there was a new update. So as I was saying, I had opened up my DaVinci Resolve and it automatically updated to the newest version of DaVinci Resolve, which I had opted in for. Now, the mistake that I had made was I didn't update my database. And because of that, when I went back into the work on the project that I had already started or that I was nearing finishing, some of the uh, settings that I had had um, done in the video, they were reset. And then also a lot of the plugins that I had installed from the last time, uh, basically up to that period, which wasn't uh, backed up, all those plugins were gone. So it didn't totally mess up my project, but what it did was set me back in some time. I had to go ahead and reinstall the plugins that were gone. And also I had to go ahead and make some settings that I had saved in a power bin. I had to re remake those settings again. For example, like a magic zoom and a, uh, a grid that I had uh, saved as a favorite and then put into the power bin as well to help me for lining up with my eye light, my eye line on the thirds as well as for helping to line up text in DaVinci Resolve. So this video isn't really going to apply if you're not editing in DaVinci Resolve, but I did want to share the problem and the mistake that I made in hopes that in the future, this could prevent you from making the same mistake. You know, I was lucky that I didn't lose any work that I was working on. I was still able to complete the job that I had mostly had. It was about three quarters of the way finished. I was still able to go in there and finish it without having to make very uh, many corrections to things that were changed. So that was the very fortunate part on that part. But the thing that I did lose was the settings and the, all the things that I had done to help me edit faster, I lost those. And then I had to go and uh, re-enter those all in again. So the main point of the video is to make sure that you're updating your database in DaVinci Resolve frequently and often. And to do that, uh, I guess every time that you're done, one of the things I think I'm going to try to do, remember to get in the habit of doing is each time that I'm finished working in DaVinci Resolve on a project, I'm going to update my database. That way it stays currently updated with the most recent work that I've done. And what caused me to make this video today was this morning, I was trying to clear up some space on my C drive. I ended up uh, deleting some files that, ha in t that were part of the DaVinci Resolve. So when I opened up DaVinci Resolve today, it said that I, it basically just said I had updated to a new DaVinci Resolve again. I had to go through and reinstall everything that I had just done a few days ago. So my point is, after I got done doing that, I updated the backup. I, like I backed up the my data for DaVinci Resolve and made sure that any anytime I opened it up in the future, it was on the current project I was working on. So if you're in the middle of a project right now in DaVinci Resolve, update your database. Or if you're planning to update your DaVinci Resolve to this newest version, update your database first. That way all your information, all the settings, and everything that you've done up to this date will carry forward into your new version. Let me know in the comments if you've made this mistake yourself with DaVinci Resolve. For myself, uh, this was my first time actually having that happen to me. For the most part, I've been pretty good at updating my database, but um, 
for the most part, like, like I said, I've been doing that just before I install a new update and before I was upstall, installing my updates manually. And this time it, I opted in for it to be done automatically and that was the problem. So I went ahead and I went back in and I switched it out to make sure that I'm not getting automatic updates anymore. I, I didn't think that was pretty cool. Uh, well, it was my mistake was not having my stuff backed up. But on top of that, I didn't like the fact that it, like it was a surprise for me to open it up and I wasn't able to get back into my old project, which I didn't, like I said, I didn't have this stuff backed up for that file. Anyhow, I'm kind of rambling on the same facts and repeating the same facts. Those were the issues I wanted to drop today. And that was the little short tidbit I wanted to share with you in hopes that you don't make the same mistake I did and waste some time having to re-enter all your settings and whatnot. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.